Okay, how many numbers are smaller than the current number? Uh, you can read the, the question uh, description, but the example is doing fine. Uh, seeing the example is fine. So this, we have this array here. This is the output. So you need to memorize the location for each element. So 8, the number of elements that is bigger than 8 is 4. So you put it in the place of the 8. And this is why you need to, like, ch keep in mind the position. So you don't mix them, them So you don't mix them up. And one, there is nothing bigger than it, so it's zero. And you can just keep doing that. So in Python, it's really simple. I will do it in JavaScript as well. So I will return a list. You need to return a list of integers. They tell you this here. So I will just sum value uh, bigger than x uh, for x in nums. And I will do this for val in nums. This is called list enumeration. So for each value in nums, I would pass this function to it. This is like the map function in JavaScript. You can't think of it like this, but it's not. I mean, I'm sure behind the scenes it's not the same thing. So this is the for each value in the nums, pass it to this function, and it will calculate the summation where this condition is true in nums as well. So I run the code. Should be fine. Submit it. And I'll show you the solution in JavaScript as well. Yeah, it's fast. It uses less than 100% of the memory. So in JavaScript, it's yeah, all deleted. We will do basically the same thing. So I will return the nums array and map it. And I will use, for each number, I'll just count it. So from the original array. So I'll, I'll create a variable called i equal to 0. And nums dot for each. So I will use double n. Call it double n this time. So if n is bigger than n, n just i plus plus. And at the end, of the, the map function just return i. And I'm returning the map here. So this should be also this should also work. Yeah. Submit it. Okay. Thank you.